Welcome back. Today I'll be doing What If Deku Was Jane Jones Part 4. So we start off with Deku going to find Alexa. As he's leaving, and he's in his car driving down the road, he hears an explosion happen in the city. I really hope that is not Lexa starting trouble. So Deku speeds up and goes. And we go to Lexa's point of view. Where Lexa is in the store right across from the explosion. Where some heroes and villains are fighting it out. As Lexa is just minding her own business in the store. What would be good to have at the base? Some chips, some drinks, maybe some new weapons. As she's contemplating, one of the villains tries to get away by going in the store. And Lexa's just sitting in the one of the aisles looking at all the stuff. As the villain threatens the store owner. You're going to be my hostage to get away from these heroes. So as the villain's threatening her, Lex is like, that's a bad person. Boss said to punish bad people. So Lexa transforms into her battle protocol and shoots the villain. As the villain gets shot in the shoulder and slips and hits his head, on the bar, or the counter, and is knocked unconscious. Lexa quickly leaves through the back and uses her combat protocol and starts sneaking through the alleys. As she's reaching one of the ends of the alley, a black car pulls up. As Jane Jones gets out. What'd you do, Lexa? Oh, nothing. I just shot a villain and he fell over and got knocked out on the counter. <sighs> Come on. We need to go. As he gets in the car, and Lexa's still in her combat protocol call form, as she gets in the car. But unfortunately for them, they were being watched. Now, Deku was wearing his glasses and suit, so he couldn't really look at his face. But the person that was watching them was none other than a racer head. As he starts following the car, as Deku notices something out of the windshield, as he says in his mind, Great, he's following. As he quickly puts acceleration on the car, going faster, until he loses Eraserhead. We go to Eraserhead. Who were those people? They were obviously no villains, or no regular thugs. But what were they doing here? As he was trying to follow them, but lost them. As the car was too fast, and it seemed that they knew he was on their trail. So, he goes back to his apartment he's staying while he's in this city. Because UA does not start until a few months from now. So he's scrolling through all the paperwork, trying to figure out who exactly they were. As then, he finds a file named Jones. Jones. Someone that used to work for the Hero Safety Commission about ten years back. It says, on paper at least. But truth be told, Deku's going by James Jones. Okay. And it has a similar picture with the glasses and the suit. So is this guy work? 
used to work for the Hero Safety Commission. I better bring this to them. As he's walking to the Hero Safety Headquarters to discuss some things. So, as he's walking to the main building, a part of the building blows up. What was that? As he looks at the side of the Hero Sa Safety Commission building, as a piece of it that looked like the control room was completely destroyed by an explosion. Eraserhead quickly rushes to the scene. As he looks through, trying to find what could have happened. As he noticed one security camera in the corner. As he goes to it, plugs in his computer to try to see what happened. But it said all recording had stopped for the day. So, Aizawa Eraserhead has come to the conclusion that this was planned. And now he goes to meet with the Hero Safety Commission President in person. As he knocks on the door. She's already irritated that someone someone blew up some someone blew up the safety commission headquarters. Uh, Razorhead, what may I do for you today? One, can you tell me who this is? As he throws a file of Jones. Well, Deku. As it's his picture. And a file of what he could find on him. James Jones. Uh, last thing I know, he was someone that quit right after. After the new, the old Hero Safety Commission left office. Yeah, but it says on paper that I found that he retired ten years ago. Retire? That's an understatement. He's been secretly working for the old Hero Safety Commission ever since. But since his passing, he I haven't heard or seen him. He's just vanished. Do you know his location? As Hero Safety Hero Commission President thinks this is a good opportunity to see if he's working with Deku to know where the zero point is. But no. As always says, no, I do not. But he had an ally, as he throws a picture of Lexa in her battle form, as she recognizes the design. But she thought she got rid of all of those designs long ago. Do you know where they went? No, they knew I was following them, tagging them, and they quickly left. Well, you should have followed them better. So what they didn't see you, and that you could discover their base. Azawa raises an eyebrow. How do you know these are villains? They may just be ordinary civilians. That could be true. But they could be an organization of villains as well. Very well. If I run into them again, I'll... Follow them and tag them to their base. How about that? As the Hero Safety Commission President has a smile on her face. That would be great. And Aizawa leaves. As he notices that this new Hero Safety Commission President is corrupt. And he goes to UA to report to Nezu. And he tells Nezu... So I ran into these people and told them the same thing he told the Hero Safety Commission president. Hmm. Well, from the looks of it, Lexa seems to have high-tech armor or costume. It seems capable in combat, at least. But I can't figure out what made it or what the design was. Do you think we could possibly capture these people? Unfortunately, no. I lost sight of them. But it seems they were there in a hurry. 
and then left in a hurry. I wonder why. Who knows? People have their own agendas, Aizawa. But, let's just hope it isn't anything evil. We'll still put an investigation on them, just to be safe. Alright, but is there any other people I need to keep an eye out for? Like, should I go in that area and start patrolling more, in case they do something? Yes, I suggest for the, this upcoming month, before the UA entrance exams, you scope out the area. Just to make sure they don't try anything. Alright. We go back to Deku and Lexa, who had just arrived back at their base. You were a little bit reckless, Lexa. Sorry, boss man. It's fine. At least he didn't follow us here. As he gets out and unlocks his base, he noted before he steps in, he noticed a car pulling in. As Deku, Deku quickly pull, puts his hand on his gun, but then he realizes it's just some of the IO guard coming. As about four of them hop out of the truck, and walk to Deku. We decided to come a little bit early, at least a few of us, to go ahead and start the job. As Deku smiles, Oh, that is fantastic. Because I may have a little bit of a situation for you. Situation? Yes. I just noticed that a few heroes were assigned to Hosu. Of my connections. And I would like you to eliminate one of them, as he hands a photo. Ah, the slick hero. Sure thing. As three of them get back in the truck, and as one stays, uh, he'll be taken care of within probably the few hours. Don't worry. He'll be dealt with. Oh, great. I know I can trust you all. Y'all are my only allies I can rely on. Really, at the moment. As Deku turns around and walks in. And one more thing. Do not underestimate the heroes. They are a formidable force. Alright. As he goes back and gets in the truck. As Deku walks in his base with Lexa. Following behind. As the man's driving off with his men. He's really concerned about these heroes, though. Don't you think? Yeah. He wants us to be cautious. To be fair, with the new hero safety commission in charge, I can't blame him. She's practically making executions a thing again. Fair point. Instead of going to jail, it's like he's, she's ordering the heroes to just kill villains. That is so messed up. Since it's a hero's job to arrest villains, it's not kill. Well, anyway, let's get this job done. As they're on the way, Jack calls them. I heard about your mission from James Jones just a few moments ago. He don't, if you don't mind, test the new weapon I sent you. Alright, yeah, I'll test it right away. As they go, and they arrive at the hero's patrol area. Okay, who wants to test it? As the third person in the truck says, I'll test it. As the guy gets out, and he's holding a special device. And this little hero's passing by. As he throws the device at the hero, he looks over, and he sees the device as he's about to slide away. The device opens up and turns into a, a big chain and wraps around him and hitting him against the wall. Wow, you know this new gear would be all good, or this good. Azira says, 
Let me go. Or the Hero Safety Commission will deal with you. Uh, we're not gonna worry about them. As one of them pulls out a silencer. Don't you dare. I happen to know some of the high-ranking heroes. They'll come for you. I severely doubt that. He won't be missed. As he shoots him in the head. Killing him. Okay, now that's done. As they notice someone watching. As one of the guys sneaks off. Okay, we should dispose of the body now. Yeah. As they're talking. The guy that left knocks out the person that was watching them. Who was it? Uh, it seems to be a, some sort of girl. Blonde hair. What should we do with her? Tie her up and leave her here for the meantime. Someone will find her. Here, she didn't see any of our faces, did she? Doesn't look like it. Good. We'll just leave her here. As they get in the car, and then leave. As they're on their way back to Deku's base. We go to Deku. Or, James Jones. As he's messing with his newfound powers. With. With him be able to open portals. He's opening portals to different rooms in his base. Trying to get used to this. As he calls this rifts. Very fascinating. I can really open these two different areas of my base. It would make transportation a whole lot easier. Then, he's wondering about that island. As that portal opens in front of him, as he gets an overview of the entire island that he had saw one time, and noticed that it was completely empty, and it would make the perfect place to hide something. But he doesn't really know how to really open a portal to it yet. So... He's going to abandon the idea.